Welcome again everyone to Old Tom and his Big Red Chair. For those of you who don't know, I'm Old Tom and this is my Big Red Comfy Chair. Oh wow, I can't wait for today's show. I know what it is. And I'm really excited. I'm not going to tell you, you'll have to wait and see. But I won't keep you waiting any longer. I'll talk to you at the end. So let's go and see what's on Old Tom and his Big Red Chair and I'll see you soon. Well hello everyone. It's really lovely to see you here today. And today, Old Tom, and by the way, I'm Old Tom. And I'm going to tell you a very, very special story. One story that you've probably all already heard about, but we're going to do it with magic. And boys and girls, it's my, one of my very, very, very favourites, and it's called the Ugly Duckling. Now, once upon a time, in this farmyard, and it was a beautiful big farm, and they've got cows, they've got sheep, and they've got pigs, and horses, and geese, and chickens, and of course ducks. Well, one day, Mother Duck laid three eggs. That's right, she laid two beautiful white duck eggs. And you won't believe it, the third egg she laid was a great big brown one. In fact, it was that big, she couldn't sit on it. She had to put a wing on top of it to keep it warm so it was not <laughs> And they're sitting there in the farmyard, boys and girls. And all of a sudden, one day, early one morning, Daddy Duck had gone out to find some food to give to Mummy. And one of the eggs started to crack. That's right, one of the little eggs started to crack. And I've got it here. And out popped a beautiful little baby duckling. Look at that, Aww. boys and girls. Isn't it beautiful? It's got a beautiful body. It's got a beautiful little head and a beautiful little beak. Oh, what a beautiful little duckling that is. And that's a little boy duck, boys and girls. It was a little boy. Look, I'll tell you what. What about if we put him down here? on this stand here so you can see. There we are, little beautiful blue duck. And then all of a sudden, the other egg started. The other little white duck, white duck egg started hatching boys and girls, and he cracked open, and guess what? A little girl. Aww. A little girl duckling, but she got a little bit of brown on her. A little, little girl duckling popped out. She looks just like a brother, really, doesn't she? A beautiful body. A beautiful little head and a beautiful little beak there. Ah, oh. <clears throat> and she, and mummy said, mummy give her a big kiss, and, and daddy give her, give her, give her a big kiss, and and she went and found a brother on the lake and was swimming along with the brother, and they were really, really happy. Oh, but boys and girls, there was another egg that hadn't hatched yet, and here it is, the big brown egg. <laughs> oh, the little eggs were white. This is the one that Mummy couldn't sit on. It was too big, she kept falling off it. So, anyway, she sat there for days and days and days. And boys and girls, the egg just didn't hatch. Aww. So Mummy thought, oh well, I'm really hungry. Instead of Daddy bringing me some food, I'll go, I'll go and get my own. So she went down to the lake, to, the, to her two little ducklings, and she caught some fish and ate them, boys and girls. But while she was away, guess what happened? A crack came in the egg. Wow. Aww. The egg started to crack open, boys and girls. Here it is. They started to crack open. And, oh, wow. Look at this, boys and girls. Another beautiful little duckling. Just Aww. like his brother and sister. A beautiful little duckling. Come on. And there it is, boys and girls. Uh, oh. What an ugly duckling that is. He's got a nice body, but look at the big head he's got. And the great big ugly beak. Wow, oh, he is an ugly duckling, isn't he? Yeah. And he came out of the egg and he looked around and he saw his brother and sister playing on the lake. So he went up to them and he says to his brother, he says, Hello, brother. He says, I'm your new brother. I'm, I'm just hatched out of the egg. And his brother looked at him and said, You can't be my brother. Uh, my, I'm very nice and my sister's very nice, but look at you. You are ugly. You are the ugliest thing we've ever seen on this farm. Oh, I, uh, I don't want you as a brother. Go away. Go Aww. away. The little ugly duckling was very, very sad, boys and girls. And he waddled away and he went up to his sister. And he says, hello, sister. I'm your little brother. He said, will you play with me? And she looked at him and said, you? You can't be my brother. My brother's really handsome. And look at you. 
Oh, you're the ugliest thing I have ever seen in my life. I don't want you. you I'm not going to play with you. Look, go away. We don't want you here. Go away. Go away. Oh, the ugly duckling is starting to cry a little bit more, boys and girls. And he's walking away, and he thought, Ah, mummies and daddies always love their children. So he went up to his mummy and he said, Hello, mummy. I'm your little baby. And she looked, she says, You are not my baby. My babies are nice. Wow, they've got beautiful bodies and a beautiful little head and a beautiful little beak. Look at you. You're awful. Look, you've got a great big long neck and you've got an awful beak. I don't want you. I could never love you. Go away. Aww. The ugly duckling started to cry even more, boys and girls. His brother didn't want him. His sister didn't want him. His, his mummy didn't want him. So he found his daddy and he says, Daddy, please, Daddy, I'm your little son. Please say that you love me. Please, Daddy, say that you love me. Aww. And Daddy Duck looks at him and says, You, you can't be my son. My son's handsome. You are ugly. Look at that big head. What a big head you've got. And what a big, ugly beak. Go away. I don't want you here. Go away. Aww. Ugly Duck cried even more, boys and girls. And as he, he walks out of the, walks through the farm and walks out of the farmyard, all, all the animals are saying, what an ugly thing that is. We don't want you here. Go away. Go Aww. away. The lovely duckling had nowhere to go. No one to love him, boys and girls. So he walked up the lane. He walked, walked for two days, boys and girls, and he came upon this lake, a beautiful lake. He is just down here. There's the lake. And he sat on the lake, boys and girls. And he sat on the lake, and he sat really, really still, boys and girls. Come back here. Oh. And he sat really, really still, boys and girls. The ugly. Come back. Don't do that, you ugly thing. Oh. And I think that upset him, boys and girls. Everyone called him ugly. So he went right to the back of the lake, boys and girls, right into the weeds. And he stayed in the weeds, boys and girls. He stayed in the weeds all winter, boys and girls. The snow came down and he was very cold because he got no one to cuddle up to. And then after the snow had gone, he thought, I need a drink of water, I need something to eat, I'll see if I can catch a fish. So he put his head out of the weeds and there's this frog. Croak, 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 croak. And he put his head back and the frog said, hello. And he says, no one talks to me. Who are you talking to? He says, I'm talking to you. He says, but nobody talks to me because I am so ugly. The frog says, ugly? You're the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. He says, no, I'm not. He says, I am really ugly. Mommy didn't want me. Daddy didn't want me. Brothers and sisters didn't want me. And no one in the farmyard wanted me. I am really ugly. And the frog says, no, you are not. He says, why don't you put your head out of the weeds? and have a look at your reflection in the water. So very slowly, he put his head out of the weeds. And he looked, and he looked, and he looked, and he looked. And he was no longer an ugly duckling, boys and girls. He was a beautiful white frog. He walked back into the corner. As he walked in, no one recognised him. And all the cows and the sheep and the geese and the pigs and the hens were saying, "What? Well, look, the most beautiful bird we have ever seen. And he walked up to his mummy and he says, Hello, mum. She says, Who are you? She says, I'm your son. I'm the one you sent away. And she says, Are you my son? And she gave him, put her feathers around and gave him a great big kiss. She says, You're the most beautiful swan I have ever seen. And his dad came up and his dad gave him a big hug and his brother and sister came up. And boys and girls, after that, they lived happily ever after. And, you know, boys and girls, that's a story that we have to remember sometimes because when we go to school, we're going to see boys and girls who've got braces on the teeth, who wear, wear glasses, and you might even have one or two spots on the face, boys and girls, because some children do when they get very young. But please, 
never treat them differently because one day they are going to grow up to be beautiful swans. That's right, you're going to grow through beautiful people. Well, I hope you like my magic story, boys and girls. And I think that's one of my favourite, favourite stories. Anyway, it's time for old Tom to go now because we've got lots of other things to do today. But So make sure you keep watching old Tom in his big red chair and I'll see you with some more magic very, very soon. Bye-bye, boys and girls. Bye-bye. Welcome back, boys and girls. Oh, another fun show. By the way, the picture up above me there is Willy Wombat. And I'm sure you've seen Willy Wombat if you've been watching the shows. Uh, if not, just keep watching because I'm, he's a naughtiest, naughty but cleverest and most magical wombat in Australia, boys and girls. And there he is. There's a picture of Willy Wombat behind me. He's my best friend. Boys and girls, it's time for me to go. So remember, if you've got a question or, or, or you've got a birthday coming up, you can send it to oldtomatemail.com. The address will be on the screen down there. But now, boys and girls, it's time for me to go. But remember, tune in next time to Old Tom and his big red chair. And I'm Old Tom and this is my big red. Comfy chair. See you next time, boys. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.